Today we're going to look at Module 4, Lesson 11, Question Number 2 on the homework. It says, A plus auto body is painting flames on a customer's car. They need two and one half pints of red, three pints of orange, three fourths pint of yellow, and seven pints of blue. They use three fourths of the blue paint to make the flames. They need seven and three fourths to paint the next car blue. How much more blue paint will they need to buy? First thing I'm going to do is set up my RDW, read, draw, write. Then I'm going to read this a second time. In this one, it's a little bit tricky because they're giving you some extra information. So the first thing I want to do is box the question. How much more blue paint will they need to buy? How much more blue paint will they need to buy? If they're only looking at blue paint, I don't really need to know how much of the other paints they need. That's extra information to confuse me, but I'm not going to use it to solve. So I can just get rid of some of those numbers. I don't need to know how much red paint there is. I don't need to know how much orange or how much yellow, but I need to know the seven pints of blue. I need to know that they're going to use the reforce of the blue paint to make flames. And I also need to know that they need seven and three fourths to paint the next car. Now I want to circle something that's important. It might not seem like a big deal, but it's going to change your numbers a lot. And it's of the blue paint. Of the blue paint. I'm going to underline it. They're not saying they need three fourths pint of blue paint. They're saying they need three fourths of the blue paint that we have. The first thing that we have to do is figure out how much is that three-fourths of the blue paint. So I'm going to start three-fourths of, remember we can change the of to multiplication, that's what it tells us, of the blue paint. If I look back it tells me I have seven pints of blue paint. So this is three-fourths of seven. Now I'm going to change it into a two numerator one denominator fraction. And there's nothing that works with the four as far as factors go to simplify it. So I'm just going to have to multiply. Three times seven is 21 over four. I have to tell myself, what do I know about fours and the multiples of fours that can get me close to 21? I know that four times five will give me 20. To get to 21, that's just one more piece out of four. So they've used five and one-fourth pints. They've used this part for flames. We know we're going to need seven and three-fourths pints to paint the next car. We have to check if we have enough. So we take the seven pints we started with and we're going to be subtracting the five and one-fourth pints that we used. Now I don't have any fours in the seven, but I can rename the seven to become six, it's just like borrowing, and I can change that one that I borrowed into four fours. So I just renamed it to six and four fours. It's still, if I add it together, four fours is still one plus another six. I would still get the seven, but this is going to help me to subtract. Six take away five. Six whole, let's take away five holes is one. Four fourths take away one fourth is three fourths. This is the amount of pints that are left. Now we know if we need seven and three fourths and we only have one and three fourths, that's not going to be enough. But we need to figure out how much more we need. So we're going to take the seven and three fourths and subtract one and three fourths. We know three fourths take away three fourths is zero. And seven, take away one, is going to give us six. We need six pints more. We go back to the question and it says, how much more blue paint will they need? They will need six more pints of blue paint.